Well, former, thanks so much, Lauren. Former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane is just hours away from heading to jail after a last ditch effort today to remain free for a little while longer. Our Joe Holden is live in Eagleville, where Kane is ordered to report by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Joe? It was inevitable. Kathleen Kane will enter the intake process here to begin serving that 10 to 23 month sentence. Now, this was an ongoing war for her to remain free, a drawn out legal war to keep her out of prison. The last battle waged this afternoon. We're showing video immediately after Kane was sentenced two years ago. She was in cuffs and spent some time in jail before making her $75,000 bail. Today, she has a new lawyer on the case. He filed a motion asking the judge to delay Kane's prison start. The judge quickly denied that request. Kane claimed she hadn't handled custodial matters for her children. Well, also new tonight, Kane is attempting to be transferred to the jail in Lackawanna County. That is in downtown Scranton, so she can be close to her children. Here's her new attorney, Bill Brennan. We would prefer that uh, the sentence be served in Lackawanna County for several reasons. The, the most uh, uh, primary of which is that that's where her boys are, that's where her family is. Uh, it would just be, uh, it would be certainly uh, more convenient for her boys to be able to travel, you know, 15 minutes as opposed to three hours to see their mother with whom they've resided uh, for most of their young and young adult lives. Uh, sources in law enforcement here say that won't be happening before she reports first here to the prison in the morning. I'm told prison officials are leaving that matter up to the courts for them to decide. Kane was convicted two years ago on charges. She leaked confidential grand jury material and lied about it. Now, Kane has maintained her innocence, claiming she was railroaded by the good old boys club in Harrisburg and paid for it with her career and now continuing to pay for it with her freedom. Reporting live outside the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in Eagleville, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you for that.